It's quarter past five. I should still be in bed. Just left the house. Now I've got to go and get a bus. Too early, man. And there we have it, welcome to another episode of it. Oh wait, I've not done the intro music yet. Play it. I see a piddly station. Let's go look at it. Aha! Uh -huh. Spotted. <gasps> this is Piddly. Well, a good morning. Chrysler. Oh wait, no, that's Welsh. Uh, welcome to Cornwall. We'll get to it. Oh, Murtin Da. That's Bog. Good morning, Cornish. Basically, it's five hours to the dot since I left the front door at my house in New Mills. We have come to our first Cornish Piddly station. And this series, or this episode, sorry, is based on this line. Today we are doing the Atlantic coastline. Now, if you're not, not the Atlantic coastline, the Atlantic coastline. And this line runs between Parr and Newquay. And uh, we've flown down this morning to Newquay Airport. Cracking flat with these yet, and we've got a couple of uh, Cornwall buses here. And here we are, we at uh, our first piddly station down in Kernu. And you know, being a Welshman, I like to speak the local lingo. Welcome to Goon Quintrell, or as the outsiders call it, Quintrell Downs. So, this is it, and we're first piddly station of the episode. It's been a while. And Quintrell Downs, this is the stop uh, before, or the first one after Newquay, whatever way you want to look at it. And yes, it is a piddly station. Single track platform, all the way, and we've got a level crossing. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But this is it, it's, uh, yeah, piddly. But I think of all the, the piddliest stations, it's the busiest town. We've got, like I say, five stations to look at today and uh, this is the first one Goon Quintrell in Cornish or like I say Quintrell Downs so before we go and look at anything else yeah like I say five stations on this line today I'm hoping to do all five I have timed them perfectly uh, we are going to do a little bit of a walk as well uh, I need to get my steps and I've been traveling all day but yeah we're gonna do sort of skip skip stops um, I'm gonna get all five in and this is Quintrell Downs is the first one um, I can say it's about four miles out of Newquay, I think. I got the, the bus from the airport to the town and then out of the town to Quintrell Downs. And um, yeah, it's like I say, it's there's quite a lot going here. Um, and then we'll talk numbers and stuff in a minute. There's a train due to Newquay in a minute. I'm not sure if we're going to get that or we're going to wait for it to come pick us up to our next station. But uh, we'll see what we can get done in this time. We've got about 10 minutes. Let's go and have a look. And I know there's a poster. I've not seen in a while, I want to have a look at. First things first, timetabling information. I know that there's roughly a two hour service now on this line, it was uh, improved a couple of years back. So uh, yeah, we're obviously here, Quintal Downs. Not a request stop, which is uh, the only, other than Newquay Park, not a request stop. That's because of that crossing there. But uh, obviously we've chained onto the winter timetable now, so Basically, one every two hours, uh, which is not a bad service from here to par. On a Sunday, I did look coming down here on a Sunday, um, doing it on a Sunday, only three trains on a Sunday, so it weren't possible. Um, but yeah, two trains an hour in each direction. And like I say, it's not a request stop because you have this crossing here. And uh, this is the reason why trains have to stop at Quintal Downs. 
and I believe, yeah, it is train crew operated. But let's go and have a look. This is my favourite poster, you know what I'm looking at. Onward travel information. Now I know there has been loads of buses because I got on one, I got off at this stop here from Newquay. And uh, plenty of buses, like I say, you can go from Newquay, uh, you can go to say Ostal, which is the end, uh, not the end of the line, but the biggest town not far from this here. And of course, the Cornish capital, Truru, or as the outsiders call it, Truru. So of all the Piddly, ooh, that's centre, there we go. Of all the Piddly stations that we're visiting today, this is not the Piddliest. 2,804 used it last year, um, which is uh, not really a surprise, um, but considering there's quite a, a good bus service in Newquay here, uh, and on to, say, Ossel and Truro, they get 2,804. So not the Piddliest of the stations we're visiting today, not the busiest either, but uh, 2,804 visits its Quintel Downs, or Goon Quintel, last year. Right, let's see if we can get this train on camera. Oh, the train, not me. I do love being down in this part of the world. The GWR green, you know, yeah, Atlantic coastline signs. It's great to be back. I love Kerry of Cornwall. It's my favourite part of the UK, other than, of course, Wales. Duh. But yeah, we're, uh, we're here for a few days. I've uh, got a few episodes to do. So, uh, yeah, this is Quintrell Downs. Let's jump on this train to New Key and East Charge my phone. And let's go and do the next station. And that's about four stops the other way. Welcome to Piddly Station, numero 2. Uh, this is Luxillian or Logsillian, as it is in uh, Kernowek. I'm just going to go and have a look at probably the only thing Wikipedia told me to have a look at, which is a well. And we'll talk a bit more about this station in a minute. Let's go and find a well. Yeah, the weather has uh, turned, but it's that typical Cornish weather. It's low cloud, mist, drizzle, with just a hint of some heavier drops. Good to be back though. Love this part of the world. Hilly though. I think it's down here. Here it is. I think, is it called St. Kior? St. Kior Holy Well. Look, there we go. Holy Well. There you go. St. Kior Holy Well. There you go. What a nice little well. Hiya mate. You alright? And that's basically it for Luxillian. Um if it had a bit more time and there were more regular trains, I would uh, explore the valley. It's a famous valley, Luxillian. It's got the famous viaducts that carry, carry the train down toward Par. But we don't, we've got about 20 minutes now and we need to talk about the station. <sighs> Obviously uh, Cornwall and Cymru, Cernowig and Cymru are quite close to each other. Um, we'll talk later on, there's one station we're going to visit next actually, which I can translate straight away. Um, but Luxillian, or Logsillian as it is in Cornish, uh, is funnily enough a derivative of Welsh. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what the logs stand for. I've done one of them in the talk this morning. Probably not the same thing. But Sillian, or Sillan, 
is derivative from the Welsh name for Julian, uh, which I didn't even know we had no name for Julian. Um, Selwyn. So there you go. And I read that on the interweb. So yes, Log Sillian, Log Sillian, is actually a little bit of Welsh. Oh, I feel like being at home, Daddy. Loving the massive sign for the Piddlier station on the line. Oh, I should be a poet. Oh, there's my favourite poster. Onward travel informazione. I'm telling you straight away now, it looks very bleak. Oh, I knew it wouldn't last very long. I'm not saying that right yet. No regular bus services from Luxillian. Bus 31 operates a limited service Monday to Saturday. I guess that picks up by the pub. That's where the pub was. Um, but there you go. There's Luxillian. Uh, so we've come from Nucky. Luxillian, that's the line to par, which we'll be doing later on, but obviously it's not part of Pilly Stations. But there we are, Luxillian Station. We're actually not that far from the Eden Project either. We are the closest station technically to it, but uh, just not close enough to be on the map. And now, where are we? We know the timetable information. We're going to get the 1223X for request to our next station. Anyway, let's go on the platform. I don't know what it is about chippings on a platform. It just seems to be a little bit more uh, romantic. So yeah, as we wait for the 1223, now we've got about 17 minutes. This is the reminiscence of Luxillian Station. It used to be a passing loop here. You can just see uh, behind me where this housing slash container place is. Uh, there is a reminiscence of a, an island platform here at Luxillian. And I believe there were sidings, there were uh, a connection to the clay pits, which are up where... You know, like the Eden Project way now. Um, but yeah, today it's just a single platform with your chippings on. And, numbers wise, wait for this. I come in the, bar, in the uh, shelter viaduct. In the shelter. Uh, 1,696. I think maybe I built that a bit too much on the last uh, clip. But yeah, 1,696 used Luxillian Station last year. Uh, on the New Key branch, it is the piddliest station. Uh, or in Cornish, uh, Gorsavo Piddly. So it's nearly like Gorsavo Welsh. But yeah, like I say, just short of 1,700 people used Luxillian last year. Um, and yeah, it's a tiny town, village, whatever you want to call it, with a well that hasn't got any water in it. But uh, yeah, this is the piddliest station of all on the New Key line. And there you have it. Now she's got to wait for the next train to our next Pilly station, which is also a request stop. I've got to request this, and I've got to request that. And that one I can translate to you into Welsh. Welcome to St. Columns Road in Cornish, Forth St. Colum. In Welsh, Forth St. Colum. Yes, it actually means St. Columns Road in Cornish. And like I say, in Welsh, it's nearly exactly the same. But here we are. We just uh, requested it. Someone actually got on. Um, so uh, it was it stopped here anyway. But uh, we requested it, and this is it. What a long platform! You know, um, I mean... Still get castle sets for carriages down here in the summer as well, and I don't think the summer Paddington trains stop down this way, but um, it is a very, very long platform, I've just noticed. That's going the other way. That's going Nuke way. There, there you go. Oh, 
a travel information poster. Yeah, and like uh, Luxillian, there are buses. You can go to Bodmin from here. Go to Bodmin Jail. Uh, obviously, you can go down towards Nucky. Central Downs has been there. It's a nozzle. Great brewery. We'll be having a pint of that later. And uh, I've cut once again to the Cornish capital, Turu. So there you go. St. Column. Not a lot here, really. Uh, oh, this is a wonderful shelter, indeed. Hmm. Local ruffians. I'm going to go for a walk uh, to get some refreshments. Got half an hour here now. 2,662 used for the same column last year. Um, so, in terms of the piddly -li 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 list, well, as piddly as Luxillian, um, but this is the probably last piddly, piddly station we'll be stopping at. The next two do have a little bit more. But yeah, 2,662 used St. Columns Road. Forth St. Column. Or in Welsh, Forth St. Column. Right, let's go and look for some uh, refreshments. <gasps> you wouldn't know this is an entrance to a national rail station. There's a little sign, tiny sign by the road, but you wouldn't know it. Anyway, let's go and request the train. It, we talk about passenger numbers on this line, of course, that the two popular stations are the Termini, Par and Newquay, with the stations in between, like I say, getting a peppering of passengers. That is not helped either by the summer Saturday service, which I think runs from about end of May to the start of September, uh, which sees local services decimated on this line uh, like I say there's about what seven eight trains a day each way uh, this time of the year but during the summer month the peak summer months when of course you know oh there's cows watching me moo moo oh yeah but in the peak summer months uh, there's only one train that calls every stop on this line and that's like the last one late at night everything else just goes straight through um, because the demand between Parr and Newquay, and of course Paddington and Newquay, outweighs and outstrips demand from uh, these stations. But they're here, they're still being used, and the next two are a little bit busier. So we're going to flag our next train down, which is the train we've just got off. Well, it's going to be all day, and we're going to go on to the next stop. And we're going to go for a bit of a walk. Great guard on that one, top man, thanks very much. We had a bit of a trouble with the doors at uh, St Cullum Road. Right, this is Roach in Cornish, Tregarek. In Welsh, it means Tregarek, which means rock town. But in foreign language, it's Roach. And we're not going to stay too long here because we're going to do a bit of a walk now. But this is Roach. Um, this is the second busiest of the piddly stations we're visiting today. We'll come to numbers in a minute. But uh, this is it. It's just like every other platform, single track. We've got a cream brown shelter. We'll go and have a look, shall we? There you go. So, your usual information poster. Do we have an onward travel? Probably it's closer to the main road. But we need to start walking that away. And I'll explain why. And it's got something to do with the name in Cornish as well, but not in English. But in a minute. So, there we go. Quick, just. Roach, Tregarek, introduction for you. Numbers wise, 5,102 used this station last year. So, like I say, of all the five stations we've seen today, that is number two. Number one is where we're going to go next. We're going to walk it. It's about five and a half miles. Got two hours to do it. And, like I say, in Cornish, this place is called Tregarek, which in Welsh is Tregarek, which translates to Rock Town. And I want to go and see the Roach Rock. I've got two hours to do it. Let's see if we can do it. Right, I believe. I'm probably on the travel information poster here, isn't there? Of course there is. Um, yeah, we have Booses, Bodmin, St Hostel. I actually could catch the 26 into Roach, but there's no points. Roach Village is about a 15 minute walk away. 
and the rock is about there. My favourite oldie worldie old sign, Bugle Bodmin Newkey Padstein and the St Austell. Nice. I'm a little bit moist. It's that rain that gets you wet. Just leaving Roach now. I can just see, I think. Oh yes. Well I've come to see. And it's high up and it's raining. Things I do for YouTube. And this is it. This is Ooh, Roach's Rock. I think I'm going to get a little bit to... But this is what I've come to see. Roach's Rock. It's a special place for special people like myself doing this for YouTube. The ruin perched on the rock is a chapel dedicated to St Michael in 1409. Two stories, 1409. Um, but then what happened to it? See if we can get. I haven't got a lot of time. I've got. To, I've got to get to the next last piddly station to get my train. But look at it. It's a chapel on top of a rock. Wow. Oh yes, I'm, I'm so happy I brought some canvas trainers with me because now my feet are soaking wet. In fact, I've been in this trainer since what five o'clock this morning. But we're going to try and get as close as we can. It is spectacular because it's just middle of nowhere. Up there. Is it? Chapel up there. So there you have it. Roaches Rock in Cornish. This town's called Tre Carreg. I guess that's the Carreg, i.e. the rock. Uh, but that was a chapel on top of it. Obviously not anymore. There are some steps up there. Oh, so we'll have a look, shall we? I am not. Oh, I'm not going up there. It would make some great YouTube visual. Oh. Well, I've made it up, up that. Oh, I'm not going about that. That's too much. But you get the drift. I've done it for YouTube. That's not a bad view, even in this weather. <sighs> Roach. Trick our leg. Oh God. And I've got to go down that. Wish me luck. Ta-da! He's only gone and done it. Well, there you have it. I'd imagine on a clear day, which is giving it tomorrow, actually, but we're not here. Some will be some cracking views, but I've climbed those ladders. That's the only thing I'm climbing today. Anyway, off to our last piddly station. We've got an hour and 10 minutes to get there. Two mile walk, come on. Another windy, no pavementy Cornish road. 45 minute walk, apparently according to Google Maps. I can do it in 35, come on. Hmm, that looks like a station to me. I think. Huh. Don't mind me. I'm just eating bugles in bugle. Oh, I'm of the last pillar station. Come on then. Onward travel. There it is. We finally made it, five out of five. We were able to get here in plenty of time, even enough time for a pint, my first and hostel beer of the day at the Bugle Inn. This is Bugle. This is the final Piddly station of this uh, episode. Uh, we've walked from Roach, past obviously uh, Roach Rock, about uh, three and a half miles to get here. And just like every other station on this line, single track platform, basic waiting areas, two trains an hour, nothing exciting. And in fact, it is the busiest station uh, out of all five, with just over 6,000 people uh, used this station last year. Doesn't sound a lot, but when you compare it to Luxillian, which is only a couple of stations down, that's a lot more. Quite a busy town, actually, we walked through it. 
quite a bit of old railway heritage as well. Got the reminiscence of the old Goon Barrow um, branch. I think you can actually see bits of it here, um, behind me, the line here. Uh, it's quite a big overbridge. Um, I think now the Goon Barrow branch is sort of a rivalry. So, you know, nice one, we like if you reuse it. But uh, yeah, it's a shadow of its former glory, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, bugle. So I've just been eating bugles. Uh, so in Cornish, it's Carn Ross Vur. Um, Carn in Welsh is like a cairn. Uh, Ross, well, Rose? No, I've no idea. Vur, I've no idea. But Carn Ross Vur, I cannot. Uh, Really the only one so far I've not been able to translate into nearly enough Welsh. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's Bugle in uh, foreign language. And station stats wise, last year, like I say, 6,390 passengers were recorded using this station. Um, plenty around, like I say, there's loads of residential properties around me, uh, even more. Big co op there, just been to get my crisps, my Bugles in Bugle and a bottle of tributes for the journey because now I've got to go to my accommodation in Lou. Um, but there we have it, we've done five stations on this branch today, we've done them all, um, pretty pleased. It's quite a self-contained branch so if anything goes wrong it's because of either crew or uh, unit problems but no, so far so good, the unit has gone up to, to New Quay so they'll come pick me up to go to Par. Um, but yeah, we've done every five stations I wanted to do today and that's it for the Atlantic coastline. I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, little bit of a humorous episode. We've not done one in a while, have we? So I thought I'd uh, get the jokes out, you know, dad jokes and all that. But uh, I'm off now to Lou and tomorrow we'll be making another episode of Pidley Stations. Uh, on well, we've got a with Pidley in Cornish. Um, from what is a traditional Cornish weathered day here in the southwest. To the next episode of Pilly Stations. Ta da!